now. So I'm getting ready to take y'all out. So I have, let me show y'all my seeds that I have organized. Let me turn this light on. Y'all, my room is a hot mess. As you can see, I didn't make my bed. But anyway, that's what I want to start doing. You know, I don't make up my bed every day. So I need to start doing that. I want to try to do that. So that'd be something that I do want to start this year. Making up my bed. I'm such a bum when it comes to that. But anyway, y'all, let me show you a little seed collection. So I am on my way outside. I'm getting ready to go um, try to get all this stuff organized. Get my seeds situated. So as you can see, I have everything in order. <coughs> Excuse me, I can't get rid of that. So yeah, y'all, hold on, let me get this started. Y'all, I have a seed addiction. As you can see, I be buying seeds and I don't even plant like majority of this stuff. So let me just show you what I have, starting with, I'm gonna run through them real quick. Basil, sweet basil, beans. I have different types of uh, bush beans, yellow wax beans. I have like, contender bush bean, Kentucky Garden Wonder, Kentucky Wonder Pole Bean. Uh, I'm not gonna go through each one of these. More beans, beets, several uh, types of beets, broccoli, cantaloupe, carrots, several types of Parisian carrot, regular carrots, chives, collards, cilantro, different types of cucumber. Y'all, look at that. Then I have dills, lettuce, Peppers, peas, snow peas, more peppers, radish, white radish, regular radish, rocket salad, some more salad, spinach, squash, y'all. Got lots of squash, tomatoes, watermelon, flowers. This is what I wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna start to try to plant some more flowers. Um, and I picked up a majority of these from the Dollar Tree. So right now they have all their seed packs out and they have them for like four for a dollar. Ooh. And a lot of these I have from last year. My dad gave me some, but then I bought like uh, 35 packs a few days ago. And then I picked up a few from Lowe's or the Home Depot. And yeah, y'all. So here's some of the flowers that I am. I want to plant these. These are some of the better flowers that... um. You can plant with vegetables that help keep like certain varmints away or they attract certain varmints to keep those varmints away from your fruits or vegetables. So you want to plant these marigolds to keep those away. So they kind of serve as a deterrent. Okay. So you want to use the marigolds and then you also want to use the nasturtiums. This is what I was telling you guys about nasturtiums. So you got the black velvet, dwarf Alaska mixed colors. Dwarf Jewel, Cherry Rose, um, yeah, so, yeah, I'll be planting a few of these today, so yeah, I'm just gonna take y'all down with me here in a few minutes, so yeah, y'all, I'll talk to y'all when I get outside. Okay, y'all, so I'm putting these back in order so I can get ready to go. I wanna try to plant some of these, uh, too. These are called coleus. These are real pretty. I've seen these in the garden center already in bloom, but I wanna try to see uh, let me see. When do you plant these? March. So six weeks before the March, uh, it's probably February. You might want to start in eh, February for these, I believe. I don't know. But I want to try these. <clears throat> and I'm going to plant several different types of nasturtium and, of course, the marigolds. So I'm going to take, I'm not going to take all these down. So I'm going to take some tomatoes, broccoli, and radish down now and then i have some basil and bell pepper too that i have for my january uh, list but what i'm gonna use for that is my what, i have a, i have two aerial gardens i'm gonna plant those via the aerial garden so i'm not going to plant those by seed or at least i don't think i am you know what i'm gonna try to start to do some beets too i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna do beets broccoli this container variety of these beets. I'm gonna do beets, broccoli. Let's see. What else did it say? Tom tomato. 
Let's see. I got two types. I got three types of beats. Tall Early Wonder. And I have Detroit Dark Red. I'm, a, I'm going to try to... I'm going to do several of these. So I'm going to take all these down. So beets. And see, it doesn't say carrots on here. But I'm going to start... You know, carrots take a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and plant my carrots. What in the heck is that? Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do carrots, beets, broccoli. Let me get the bell pepper. Uh, okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to go. So I'll just see y'all outside, period. So here's the peppers. I'm going to try the bell peppers. Okay, so I'm going to put all these in the seating trays. Let's see, marigold. I'm going to take some marigold and nasturtiums. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna take those down there. I'm gonna do several of these nasturtiums. All right, guys, so yeah, y'all, yeah, let's go. So I'm getting ready to make me some tea uh, cause it's a little chilly outside. And I also need some hot water for my soil. So I'm gonna boil some hot water for my tea and for the soil. stuff going on out here so here's the seeds and then I'm going to repot my palm this thing here has been through I don't know what and then look at this y'all I killed that I did I killed that I did okay so, ouch it's got thorns so I'm gonna take this out and repot that but I probably won't do that on camera yep so let me go get my um, seed tray and soil from my car. I'll be back. Y'all, I'm outside. <laughs> and this cat next door has been stalking me. I'm scared. I'm over here trying to look and deal with this soil and make sure he don't come over here. Y'all know I don't play with cats. So, this is what I'm using. I'm using some seed starting mix and here's the texture of it. It's really light. It's really fluffy and it has, let me see what it has in here. I know it has some sphagnum peat moss in here, some soil and a few other nutrients. All right. So I'm not going to get into this, but yeah, if you guys want to look that up and check it out, I don't know if it's organic, maybe it is or not, but it has some fertilizers in it. So, this is like $6 from the Home Depot. Oh, here are the two extra packs of seeds that I picked up from there. So, I got a pack of a bunch of onions. Onions. And then I got some regular yellow onions. And this is a container variety. Because you guys know I plant in containers. So, yeah. So, let me get my soil ready. And... This water was hot, but it's cool now because I've been out here messing with this dang on cat. So yeah. Okay, let me put this up here. And then I'll just show you guys. Y'all, I'm having all kinds of issues today with my next door neighbor and his pants. They have a dog. And when I say that little joker busted through the fence, and my after running, y'all. While I was gone. Well, he's a nice little dog, but today, for some reason, he was mean. So I got the dog that busted through the fence, and then the cat that was coming over here stalking me a minute ago. So that's why Yodi's not out here now, because I don't want that cat to scratch my dog's eyes out. 
All right, so I have my water in here just to moisten it up. And let me go get my spatula. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And I had to get the rest of my hot water and go ahead and put it in my soil to moisten it up. And I'm going to take my pot back in the house because if that breaks, I'm going to be upset. Highly upset. So, put the rest of that in there. And then I'll be back because I'm going to go put this up now. All right. So, as you can see, I am mixing the soil up. I'm not going to get into all this. So, I'm just going to mix this up. And then I'm going to put these or put this soil into the um sales and then i'll just put the seeds in them so i'll come back once i get ready to put the seeds in this is what the soil looks like and i'm just going to go ahead and put it in the sales because I want to do a TikTok with this too. So let me go ahead and, um, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do a TikTok. I'm just going to fill these up and I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, so this is about as far as I've gotten. So I filled up these trays here um, and I'm getting ready to put in some marigold some nasturtium. I'm gonna use the black velvet and I think I'm gonna use, let me see which one has a date. Let's see, 1221 and this one. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use each one of these, just a few from each. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Y'all, this cat is too much. Look at this cat, y'all. Let y'all know I'm not crazy. Look at this cat. He is freaking stalking me, y'all. Look at that. Look. See? Y'all look at him. Nothing against you cat lovers, but I got PTSD when it comes to cats, y'all. I'm not. I'm dead. I'm so serious. Like, mm -mm. And he's been over here, like, since I've been outside. Shoot. Oh, mm -mm. okay, so let me go ahead and try to get done with this before this cat comes over here to attack me. So, yeah, y'all. Where'd he go? So, okay, I'm gonna put like two C's in the cell. <clears throat> See, so I'm gonna start putting, I'll just put two. These are some big C's, though. So every now and then I'm checking on that cat. So yeah, so let me go ahead and I'll put like two seeds per cell. So I wanna keep some plants or flowers going the whole season. That's what I wanna do. So after I get through doing this, then I will, so I'm gonna do them in groups of four. So I'll put four of the black velvet here. This is what that packet looks like. Turn that over. And then I'm going to put, let's see. Okay, so that has one in there. And then I'm going to open up these nasturtium dwarf Alaskan mixed colors um and I'm gonna look these up okay yeah they say these are edible the edible leaves and flowers so they have a taste like watercress 
So you can get these from the Dollar Tree as well. And like I said, these said they taste like watercress. So, and I have one that I planted last season and this is what's left. So it's not looking too good, but <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep it going just to see. Who likes to plant? Is anybody else interested in planting like seeds or gardens? And if you do, how, how do you prefer? to plant are you a container gardener or raised beds uh oh that's a b or are you plant in ground which way do you prefer so uh oh i cut the name off of it i've been into planting for a while now and i actually picked this up from my father um because as a child growing up um, we always had a garden like we always had food in the backyard like we had pear tree peach plum pecans we had apples strawberries we had everything um and it is so much fun you know that we were fishing a lot too so yeah we were kind of like real outdoorsy and my dad we still that way like he still comes over here. We'll go fishing. Um, those little kids. We'll go fishing. We'll go to the garden center. So we like to hang out a lot and uh, do stuff like that still. So it's a lot of fun. And yeah. So, and so my idea for my planting for this year is to plant more flowers. Of course, there's a flower called the blue pea butterfly. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So it's the butterfly pea flower, and you can make teas from this flower. So I've seen this tea on TikTok and everything, but I got the idea to grow my own from a fellow YouTuber, uh, Miss Helen H. So that's where I got the idea of growing mine um, on my own. That's pretty cool. So that is a vining type flower, and I'm getting ready to order that uh, pack of seeds. From Baker Creek Seed Company or Baker Creek Seeds. And this again was suggested by Helen H. This is where she purchased some of her seeds from. And she is a fellow YouTuber. So that's what I want to do with that. And then these flowers here, I'll use these for my salads and um, like for drinks and stuff that's coming up. You know, when I make my little drinks and for TikTok and everything, I can use these flowers for those drinks. And then I also plan on planting some. Okay, so these are marigolds I'm putting in here. So you wanna keep the marigolds. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to keep these planted all season because these this is a good flower for a deterrent. For them little, look at these seeds. Has anybody ever planted marigolds? I have not. So I normally buy marigold plants already uh, bloomed from the garden center. So this is my first time ever planting these, but again, I've used these before in the past. I wanna also plant a few more flowers that I can cut and um, put on my table and set up, you know, like people go out buying flowers or you can cut your own flowers once you grow them. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so I got these seeds in here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover these up with some soil. So I gotta remember how I have or what, what seeds I have in here. So I think I'm getting ready to go, y'all. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these trays up with the rest of my seeds. There's no need to do that on camera and I'm just rambling. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then, let's see, marigolds. Yeah. Okay, and then after that, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna transplant my uh, palm tree into a another container. So that's what I'm gonna do after this. So I'll see you guys in a minute because this video is running along. So I'll talk to y'all in a minute. All right, guys. So I have the seeds in the tray. So now I need to add some water to the bottom of this because it's a self-watering tray. As you can see there's like holes at the bottom here. <clears throat> so I'm going to pour some water at the bottom. So I'm just take this off. Then I'll just pour the water in here. And this is how the seeds 
get their water. All right, guys, so here is where I currently have my plants. And so my dog stays in here, and then the plants there. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and show you the tray. So I've already added some water in here, and I think that may be not, let's see, it's a damp. That may not be enough. I'll add some more. So this is how these tray. it's a self-watering tray, and you water from the bottom. So, <clears throat> math is hot. So I'm gonna put this little heat lamp right here. Heat lamp, grow lamp, and I'll just keep this right here and just monitor it over the next few weeks. And then I'll need to label these. So let me turn this back around because I need to label these. I have some labels, but I think I'm gonna just use some tape because I don't know if those labels are gonna fit in here. All right, y'all, so this is what the seeds look like in the trays. And I got lazy, so I just put, um, labeled these with tape until I get enough energy, because I'm tired, get enough energy to label those with the little plastic labels that I have. So for now, this will have to do, and I'm getting ready to go repop my plant off camera. And then, yeah, so I'll show you once I'm done, and I'll talk to you guys here in a minute. Okay, y'all, so I am back home. I have to go pick up my uh, daughter from school. So now I showed y'all the seeds. So now I am getting ready to transplant, or not transplant, just repot this palm. It was doing pretty bad. So I'm gonna go get a knife here in a minute so I can take these little edges down. But yeah, I just don't know how to take care of palm plants as well. So we shall see. But I'm, when it gets warm, I'm gonna end up purchasing another one of these because these are one of my favorites, but I can't take care of it. But I'm still gonna keep buying them unless I get me a silk one. So yeah, y'all, woo, a bug. Okay. This is where I've cut that stalk down a little bit because it was pretty tall. So I trimmed that down, added some soil, and I added some palm tree fertilizer. So that's what I used. And this is what it's looking like right here. So Pennington Ultra Green Palm Tree. So yep. This is it, guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.